tuning in again from the many lessons that you're going to receive from Mr. TMG. I am the marketing guru here to bring you some revelations for your situation, not just information. So if you want to learn more lessons on different topics and subjects for you to develop and build your mind, go to my YouTube channel, Ron Harness, I am TMG. Look me up on Instagram and follow me, Ron Harness, I am TMG. Click the subscribe button so that you will receive every new teaching, training, video, motivation that I put out. I want you to be the first one to receive. So go do it right now. Subscribe and stay tuned for the next piece of revelation that you're going to get. It's going to bring transformation. I'm TNG fam. I got a question for you. Are you ready? Huh? Huh? Are you ready? What are you ready to prospect? Yeah! <laughs> so in this one, we're going to talk about finding prospects. When people look at marketing, one of the biggest questions is, do I know anybody? They believe that if they know a lot of people, then they can have lots of success. And they also believe that if they don't know a lot of people, then they don't have a chance. I know it sounds logical, but it's just not true. See, as I mentioned before in a previous video, there are three types of people in the network marketing and marketing industry. Posers, amateurs, and professionals. See, when it comes to finding prospects, posers will make a mental list of three, four, or five people, and they hope that these people will join their business. And their entire feature is based on those three, four, or five people joining. Now, if they're lucky enough to get one of them, then they can extend the life of their career for a short time. They may even make another mental list of about three or four more people, hopefully, they eventually decide to stop being a poser and to upgrade, like Beyonce said, let me upgrade you into the amateur ranks. Now, would it surprise you to know that 80% of all people that join the network marketing business approach the task of building that business as a poser? I mean, it's true. Eight out of 10 distributors approach their business with a poser mentality. They make a small mental list and they see what happens. They never actually set out to develop the necessary skills to get successful. See, your job is to make sure that you're not one of them and make sure the people that you teach, train, and develop don't do the same. Now let's talk about the second group. You know who I'm talking about. Yep, a showtime at the Apollo. Amateur night. The amateurs. See, amateurs a little bit different. Why? See, amateurs will start off with a, a very large list. Instead of a small mental list, they're actually going to write it out, which is a step in the right direction. Let's just say they make a list of about 100 prospects. They charge out with well, all the excitement, the energy, the excitement, the enthusiasm, but no skill. They begin a prospect, but their list begin to diminish as it grows smaller and smaller. The anxiety grows higher and higher. See, the biggest fear is this. They may run out of people to talk to. I know in the beginning, that was one of my biggest fears. What if I burned through all my good people, right? In my late 20s, my list wasn't anything to brag about. I knew a few people from other jobs. I tried to follow my mentor's approach. Um, I tried to use the, the, the contact list that I had, but it didn't take me long to run out of people that I felt would be good for my business. Soon, everyone in my circle knew what I was doing. Either they said yes or no. And what was scary was, if I didn't find somebody from my list and find them soon, I was going to fill in the business. It never occurred to me that finding quality people to actually prospect was a skill up until that point in my career, I always used the list as a ticket to wealth. I figured that if I had a good list, then I'll be successful. But if I had a bad list, then either you have your lucky or you are done. See, I finally came to my defining moment when I actually committed to being a professional. Then I began to study the people that built large and successful organizations. And I found out that the professionals approached finding people from a totally different perspective. Professional and their perspective. The professionals see it as it's their job to find people. Think about it like that. Professionals focus on finding people to talk to as one of the core skills 
that they need to develop. They're not interested in luck. They're not worried about running out of people. They develop the skill set and the mindset that that never happens because they continue to engage people. See, they start off with a written list, but they made the focused commitment to never stop adding people to that list. They created something called an active candidate list. And I'm going to show you how to do it in just a moment. So make sure you have your notebook ready to take notes. See, one of the people that actually taught me how to do this well was LeBron Mason, author of the book, Stop Begging for a Boss and Hire Yourself. See, LeBron understood this concept and he told me that I needed to master it as well. And if you want to master this skill, then follow these four steps. So step one is this, make your list as comprehensive as possible. I mean, include every single person you can think of. It doesn't matter if you think that they're a prospect or not. Your database will be one of the most important assets you have. Everyone goes on the list. If they're negative, put them on the list. If you don't like them, put them on the list. <laughs> if they're your best friend, your sister's girlfriend, put them on the list. If they say they'll never try marketing again, put them on the list. If they're old, put them on the list. If they're young, guess what? Put them on the list. It's important to do this. And here's why. As you empty your mind on paper, it'll make more room for new contacts to make room in your list. And when you write down each and every person, guess what happens? You begin to think about the people that are connected to those people and the people that they may know. So, Write everybody down on your list. Now, step number two, think about every organization that you've ever been involved in, every group that you've ever been a part of, everything that you've ever done. If you do this right, then it'll end up being hundreds and hundreds, maybe even thousands of people. And here's the thing, you're not required to prospect everyone on your list. That's up to you. But it's extremely important to do the work that's necessary to capture all the people step on Number your three, list. have you ever heard of the concept that you're only six contacts away from any person in the world, six degrees of separation. Now, I'm not sure if that's true or admit, but I believe in the concept. So step number three is looking at your list and thinking about the people that they know, the second degree of separation. Chances are you may know some of those people also. Think about members of your family and who do they know? Add them to your list. Think about your friends. Who do they know? Add them to your list. Think about all the relationships that you have and the people that they know and add them to your list. Don't worry about what you're going to do with the list yet. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Just keep building. Please get this, people, and understand this completely. I'm not saying you should assault these people with your pitch the moment you're introduced. Some people in marketing make that mistake, and that is not good. I'm saying just add them to your list. Make friends, establish a relationship and a connection. And when the time is right, you can help them understand what you have to offer. Step number four, network on purpose. I mean, professionals network on purpose. Recognize it's hard to meet new people if you're hiding from the world. Get out there, people. Have some fun. Join a club, a gym, a networking group. Volunteer some places. Do something that you can engulf yourself into a place where you can meet new people, network, build relationships, and establish new connections. Not only would it be good for your business, but you'll make some great friends and acquaintances and find some business partners along the way. As we bring it all together, constantly expand your list. This is why the professionals do it. Why? Because this is called the active candidate list. It never stops growing. The pros have a goal to add at least two people to the list every single day. They may not prospect them immediately, but they're going to add them. Just how my mentor told me. They should go on your list and find a creative way to stay in touch. Now, if you think about this as a core skill, you'll recognize that it isn't very hard. You come into contact with people every day. Just add them to your list. You meet people on social media. Add them to your list. You do business with new people every day. Add them to your list. So as you live your life, as you're making new friends, new acquaintances, you start to recognize as you build your business, the people that you bring into your organization and become customers will be people that you've built rapport with over time. 
And as a professional, you'll develop a higher level of awareness. You'll pay more attention to the world. You know you'll be introduced to people, new, uh, new people all the time. And poses and amateurs, they don't pay attention to this. They go through their day looking like, which people? Where, where are people at? Like, how hard would it be to raise your awareness and add two new people to your list? If you do this six days a week, that's over six 100 new people a year. You do this for five years, that's over 300 new people. Can you see why professionals are really not afraid to run out of people? Because there are tons of people out there. You just got to get to talking. Hey, real quick, sorry to bother you. And that's how you start a conversation. But we'll talk more. I really about do. That. I hope this helps you establish the list and get that pen and paper and write down every person you know. Because the next step we're going to teach you is how to invite these people to view the information or to see your opportunity to or to hear what you have to offer. So thank you for lending me your ear, your understanding, and put into action what you just learned. This is not a good idea. It's not about a million dollar idea. It's about million dollar execution. So you can have an idea with no execution and you'll stay broke. But if you execute, then you will get results. Remember, effort, Plus, time equals results. But the maximum effort plus the maximum time equals the maximum results. So, remember, stay tuned. Thank you. It's your boy, Ron Harness, Mr. TMG. Thanks for tuning in. And make sure you subscribe. Ron Harness, I-N-T-M-G. And, of course, at the Instagram, Ron Harness, I-N-T-M-G. Look me up. Peace. <laughs>